Yeah, you need to put the mic on. Yeah, do you have the money over Yeah, put it down. That's fine. Yep. Okay. So I put it uh, on my neck. Yeah, um, How does it clip that onto your the top there. Uh, just like that. Oh, okay, thanks. Clip it onto your... Okay, so it's, is it working? Just is it working? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, so, um, may I start? Okay, hi guys. Um, my name is uh, Tamás Bunt, and um, I, uh, I, I was uh, working with, uh, on LibreOffice for uh, uh, three years from now. And um, now I am a contractor at uh, Collabora Productivity. The main topic I'm about uh, to, uh, I'm, uh, I would like to talk about is uh, LibreOffice Base. Maybe it's not uh, as, as a famous component of LibreOffice as Writer and uh, Calc, but uh, it's uh, used uh, in uh, different areas. Uh, first, I would like to uh, talk, uh, um, tell us uh, some things about Base. Uh, so, if uh, you are not uh, uh, um, familiar with the uh, component, uh, uh, just uh, to uh, I would li like to let you know some uh, details. There are two um, modules which are uh, strongly uh, related to the um, uh, base module: the connectivity and the DB access. Um, the connectivity module. Uh, is used for connecting to a, um, a database management system. Um, Microsoft Access uh, uses um, uh, its own um, database management system, um, but uh, LibreOffice Base uh, uh, is used um, most uh, used only with uh, external uh, databases. Um, at least, it's not uh, the um, uh, not uh, in the core project. <coughs> um, also, um, there is a module called DB Access. It, uh, it is uh, uh, representing the um, logic which, uh, which is used for uh, um, uh, showing the UI itself and uh, operating the uh, database management system on the, in the background. And, um, uh, what, I'm, uh, uh, what I would like to talk about is the improvements uh, in that area. Um, there are uh, three uh, main topics which I would like to uh, uh, talk about. The first one is the, the uh, uh, default uh, embedded uh, database uh, management system. Um, there are two options when you want to uh, uh, connect to a database. Um, you can either have a uh, external connection, that means that uh, uh, you can use a server, a database server, or you can, you can uh, use an embedded database. Uh, that means that uh, when uh, you have the ODB file, it's actually a zip file, as uh, you may already know. And uh, in the zip file itself, there is the data and the schema of the database. Uh, if you want to go for an embedded database, then you can choose either Firebird or uh, HisQLDB. Um, and um, uh, that's uh, one topic, uh, because uh, we wanted to make uh, uh, Firebird a default, and uh, HisQLDB is obsolete. Uh, other uh, topic is the um, migration from HisQLDB uh, to uh, Firebird. That's needed because uh, we uh, turned HisQLDB as an obsolete uh, uh, solution, and it, uh, it uh, has a um, Java runtime environment as its uh, dependency, which is a huge dependency in its own. And uh, also, um, uh, the third topic is about My MySQL uh, connector. Um, uh, with LibreOffice, you can uh, connect to My MySQL and MariaDB not only with the GDBC, but uh, with uh, the native connector uh, as well. And uh, 
First, I would like to talk about the uh, connectivity module and the SDBC driver itself. It's the API which uh, LibreOffice Libre uses, and it's uh, very similar to the uh, to the uh, GDBC, GDBC API. We have a driver which can uh, create connections, and each con with each connection we can uh, create statements. Uh, for example, a query or a insert statement, uh, and so on. And uh, we can have, uh, with, for example, with that X database metadata um, information about the database, and uh, all that can be received uh, with the help of a result set. And it has, it also has information uh, which is contained by X result set metadata. So these are interfaces, and. Uh, and uh, there are several implementations of the driver for each uh, database management system or for each uh, connecting solution. For example, we have ODBC and EDBC, uh, which uh, Access uh, has as well. But uh, LibreOffice has uh, native uh, uh, plenty of native connectors. Um, these are just examples. The uh, three uh, interesting uh, example is the SQLDB and the Firebird uh, uh, driver, uh, which, I, uh, which I'm mo most concerned in, and the MySQLC, that's the native connector, name of the implementation of the native connector. Um, and with SQLDB and Firebird, we can choose either to connect to a remote uh, server and, or uh, to an embedded server. Okay. Um, so comparing Firebird and HisQLDB as an embedded database, that I found uh, three, three uh, reasons why we would uh, go for Firebird. The most, uh, the most important is maintainability, um, because uh, HisQLDB is a uh, Java-based uh, um, uh, database management system. Uh, because of that, uh, we have to uh, make a, a Java course from C++, C++ and that, uh, uh, that causes uh, um, some trouble when uh, we would like to de debug the application. And uh, also, uh, another um, uh, aspect is performance. And uh, the third is the state of the uh, implementation itself. That's the one we can, we can we, uh, change. Um, so uh, uh, one of uh, my uh, works uh, uh, lately was about uh, uh, um, improving the Firebird driver. Um, <clears throat> it, uh, like uh, two years ago, uh, we made an upgrade to the uh, 3.0 version, which was uh, um, kind of a, a huge work because the uh, architecture of the Firebird uh, management system, uh, database management system changed. And because of that, uh, we had to remake the uh, uh, con uh, make, file, uh, uh, make files related to this, which, uh, which uh, can be a bit tricky. Also, uh, an, another uh, um, improvement was uh, to allow auto-incremental values. Um, and uh, saving uh, the RT format of uh, Firebird inside the ODB file. Uh, um, with this uh, uh, method, we achieved that uh, uh, the um, ODB file is portable, which is kind of a requirement we have. Um, also, uh, creating relationships didn't work with the UI, which is uh, now working. And uh, there are a lot of more uh, changes um, which had le less impact, but they were interesting as well. Okay, after upgrading the uh, Firebird uh, driver, uh, there is this need that uh, we should uh, get rid of the HisQLDB because of the Java dependency. That's a tricky thing to do because uh, uh, um, uh, one thing that uh, is really needed uh, from the users is to uh, ensure that th their files are uh, uh, usable um, in the uh, future uh, times as well. So backward compatibility is uh, uh, really important. Because of that, uh, we created a migration assistant tool, which, uh, which uh, has the task to, um, to uh, move the database itself uh, which is inside the ODB file to uh, another format. 
the, the Firebird format. Um, so, uh, but um, um, problems uh, that I faced uh, during the migration, uh, the creation of the migration tool, is that uh, uh, the migration should be processed without the uh, uh, HisQLDB uh, system itself. So uh, that uses uh, Java um, environment, and uh, because of that, it uh, cannot be used. And uh, that's the whole point of the migration. So I had to look at the uh, implementation of HisQLDB and also the file format, which uh, was not uh, 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 documented in every uh, pieces of it. Um, also, a, a big uh, challenge was to understand the binary format uh, in which the data is stored. Um, okay, but uh, um, the migration assistant tool is created, and it uh, works in uh, uh, almost uh, every database uh, that it's created. Of course, there are problems which uh, uh, which are um, tracked in the bugzilla. Um, one uh, big problem is that uh, we also want to uh, migrate the views, and uh, um, the views can be uh, really complex, um, considering that uh, um, uh, we have uh, functions which are not compatible and uh, are, which are not uh, present in the SQL standard. For example, when we want to uh, migrate uh, HisQLDB to Firebird, um, HisQLDB has the concat uh, function as a uh, keyword for uh, concatenating strings. Uh, on the other hand, Firebird has these uh, two vertical uh, um, lines to do that. Uh, and uh, that's just one example. There are a lot of functions which, uh, which, uh, which are not uh, in the standard. And uh, also, another need is to, uh, that would be uh, good if uh, this tool uh, was, uh, would, uh, not, uh, would be able not only to migrate HisQLDB to Firebird, but to migrate HisQLDB to everything. That means the SDBC uh, API, um, or uh, to move a step further, it uh, should be possible to move something to something. Of course, it uh, has a, a complexity. And um, I would like to now turn to the third topic, which is the uh, MySQL connector. So what we have here, um, there are uh, more, AP, uh, more ways to connect to a MySQL or MariaDB uh, um, database. One is uh, uh, GDBC. And uh, there are uh, three, uh, um, three native uh, ways. Uh, the, uh, there are the C API and the C++ API. And the C API is implemented by MariaDB and MySQL uh, part. And the uh, uh, um, interesting uh, difference is the license. Um, while uh, uh, Mario, uh, MySQL the C++ connector cannot be used in the core project be because it's uh, GPL licensed. Uh, um, but on the other hand, uh, MySQL, the MariaDB C API uh, could be used. And uh, because of that, before, before the work uh, we did, um, the uh, nat uh, MySQL native connector was uh, used as an extension. Um, OK. so. Uh, so what? Uh, the problem uh, with uh, having uh, the uh, MySQL connector as an uh, extension is that uh, it, uh, it uh, needs uh, further uh, steps to uh, install it. It uh, seems to be not a big problem, but uh, it uh, annoys the user. And uh, uh, the user has to know that it exists and uh, uh, so on. But the uh, big, biggest problem with that is maintainability, because uh, because it, uh, when it's, it is an uh, extension, the driver itself, then it uh, wouldn't uh, uh, track the changes which uh, uh, which we made on the core project, and because of that, it can uh, happen that uh, the uh, the extension cannot be used anymore. 
Uh, also, for example, Clang plugins wouldn't apply on the extension and uh, any other static analysis tool and test and uh, so on. Okay. Um, so, uh, it, when I implemented the driver, I used the the new driver, I used the MariaDB C API, and in that way uh, we could uh, move the uh, whole uh, stuff into the core project. And there is an example function uh, just for uh, fun. So you, you can see, see that it's a C API. This, is a, this function, MySQL statement prepare, is used for uh, preparing a pre uh, prepare statement. Uh, it uh, uh, gets three parameters. Uh, a statement uh, uh, handle which uh, represents the statement itself and the uh, SQL query. Um, okay, and um, um, what I also have here is the uh, interesting uh, concept of the MySQL, uh, MySQL implementation. One uh, interesting thing, at least for me, was the memory management because uh, I, I get a, a bunch of uh, pointers from the MySQL API, but I uh, don't have to free them. There is a separate. There are separate functions for freeing the uh, resources. Also, uh, an interesting thing for me. An interesting thing was that uh, there are two uh, implementations for result set uh, and uh, result set in the uh, in the C API. Uh, separate, separate implementation for the statements and the prepared statements. That's interesting because SDBC has only one, uh, typically, uh, but uh, uh, that could be solved. And uh, another interesting concept is to how to move the cursor. Uh, MySQL uh, allows only uh, to move uh, the cursor of the result set uh, forward, but SDBC would uh, allow to move it backward as well. That can uh, can be done, but it's a performance uh, problem because then you have to reopen the cursor, and uh, then you can uh, go wherever you want. Okay. Uh, another thing that uh, we accomplished is to test uh, the functionality of the driver. Um, the problem here is the that uh, it's not an embedded database, so. Uh, so we cannot do that automatically. The one who wants to test the, this uh, functionality uh, has to uh, ha have a, a, a server, MySQL server somewhere. And uh, because of that, this, uh, the unit test which we made is, uh, it can be used only uh, with explicitly saying it uh, after the build. Um, so th there is this manual execution. And uh, we can pass an environment variable which contains the URL for the uh, database and the password, and then uh, it, uh, the functionality can be tested. Okay, and uh, some other interesting uh, problems I faced. One is uh, parallel execution of uh, more, uh, pre uh, more result sets. It's not supported by the C API, but supported by the SDBC. So uh, what I did is to store the uh, result in memory, and uh, uh, with that, uh, it can be uh, queried later with, from separate. Uh, and uh, that way, I can free the uh, MySQL resource, and I, I can use it again. OK. Um, another uh, challenge was the X database met metadata uh, implementation because the C++ API, which uh, was before, uh, had uh, provided uh, uh, methods uh, which was uh, really similar to the, which were uh, really uh, similar to the uh, SDBC methods, so there were nothing to do. But with the C API, there, these methods are not available, so I had to uh, use SQL queries. Um, the challenge with uh, that is uh, that it's not as uh, strongly uh, typed as C++ and uh, the uh, developing uh, in that way is a bit uh, tricky. Um, but the most of the methods uh, now works. Okay, and the uh, third uh, which I uh, would like to mention is that uh, 
Um, three days from now, I worked on a bug uh, here in Brussels in the Hackfest. And, uh, and that's uh, when we use the native MySQL uh, API. Uh, so the uh, SDBC API, which I implemented. Then when we open the relations tab, this tab is used for creating uh, relations, which means foreign keys mostly. Um, so when we open it, it uh, uh, turns out to be too, uh, a bit slow. That means for on my machine with my MySQL server, it uh, uh, takes about seven uh, seconds. And uh, why is that so slow? Uh, one uh, answer could be that uh, also a bunch of system tables are uh, uh, shown in the tables uh, menu there. And uh, that, uh, that is uh, maybe uh, not uh, so um, um, interesting because the, most of the users uh, is not concerned about the uh, relations between system tables. So my plan is to get uh, rid of those uh, system tables and only uh, query uh, um, and the normal tables uh, for the uh, relationships uh, menu. Okay. Um, so that was all I wanted to talk about. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions. Yes. Testing database backends. Oh, I, I write my. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I I, uh, I don't know when when did you uh, come? Too late, obviously. Too late, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, uh, um, about the migration. Uh, there are a lot of uh, reports about what comes first. Do you track this? Yeah, yeah, I, um, yeah uh, about the migration part, there, are, there is a, um, a tracker page uh, in Bugzilla which uh, contains links to all of the, those uh, issues. There is a lot, a lot which, there are a lot which are solved and there are a lot which uh, need uh, further uh, uh, work on that. Yeah, I'm aware of them. Okay, thank you. <laughs>